I think what we forget about as medical personnel is that really all doses that are standardized are actually based on weight. So they're based on a typical 70 kilogram person. Well, that was great back in the day, but now the average weight is 93 kilos. In Mississippi, it's probably higher than that. And so there's a huge gap in knowledge for what do you do for these patients. And then pending the volume and distribution of these drugs, you may need to increase your dose and you may not. And so I think it's another important pharmacokinetic principle to be able to understand. And DVT prophylaxis falls under this because when we treat someone for a DVT, we base it on their actual body weight. When we're prophylaxing someone, it's not weight-based. It's a set dose. So are we adequately prophylaxing our morbidly obese population? Um, there's clinical controversy with this right now. Um, you know, hopefully we'll get more literature on that to know whether we need to double that dose of heparin. A lot of the cephalosporins or the beta-lactam antibiotics are very sensitive to um, obes obesity. Um, and because of that, we tend to use higher doses than what is recommended um, for those things. So for example, um, our first generation IV cephalosporin, cefazolin, um, there are certain doses that are recommended, again, based on primary literature that, you know, if you're going to use a one gram dose, that's okay for normal weight people, but only for surgical infection prophylaxis. If you actually want to treat somebody, you have to go to two grams. If they're morbidly obese, there's some data that suggests you need three grams per dose. Um, so it's just that data is still emerging and still being conducted. Um, we have a good friend of ours that um, we've worked with before who um, is doing, that's the purpose of his lab, is to look up and see how obesity is influencing drug dosing, um, specifically in antimicrobials.